Hey Hunters, my name is Mark Venturelli and today we're going to have a shorter video. So previously I have taught you how to make a basic gun, a basic weapon in the game uh, from scratch. So I taught you how to make a sprite, how to create a game object, how all, the, all of those things work here in Game Maker Studio. Uh, but today and from in the future videos as well, I'm going to try and focus on smaller, simpler concepts that are going to be useful to you in your next mods, in your next creative endeavors. So for this video, I'm going to s stay on the domain of weapons. I'm going to do something a little bit more advanced. I want to do this. So this is, was just released on the previous update for other counters. It's called the Kami Launcher. It's a bazooka that launches live Kami. <laughs> there you go. So this is really awesome, it's a really fun gun, it's very different. You can throw Kami at people. And uh, it's very easy to do. And today we are going to recreate this gun from scratch. And while doing so, we are going to learn about inheritance, which is a very important concept when you want to make games in general. So the first thing you want to do, as always, is to have a sprite. Thankfully, I already do. So we have here my SPR underline Kami Launcher. If you don't know how to do this, how to get to this stage, watch the previous video, it is down below. So uh, you created you created a sprite and you came all the way here in objects, player, and you created a gun, right? Created the Kami Launcher. You basically, you, you did you did it the way I taught you in the previous video. You, you duplicated the rocket launcher, which was the closest one. You changed the sprite, you changed some attributes, and there you go. Uh, but today we're going to look at an attribute that we didn't use the last time. It's a variable called projectile underline obj. So what this does is that it tells the gun that it's it is not going to use the regular projectile. So for every gun in Relic Hunters, we have this here in the projectiles folder, this class projectile, and the OBJ projectile uh, this player, I guess, right? So if you shoot a gun from a player gun, it's going to shoot an OBJ projectile player, which is the regular bullet, right? But sometimes you want to shoot different stuff. So, uh, I have already created the Kami Launcher. It's already working like you've seen. So, I'm going to create a new one from scratch. We're going to duplicate this Kami, the rocket launcher. We're going to call it OBJ Tutorial Launcher. Okay. We're going to change the sprite to the Kami Launcher sprite. We're going to edit it, its name to Tutorial Launcher. We're going to say that the OBJ is the Tutorial Launcher. Sorry, the object is a Tutorial Launcher. And the projectile OBJ, it's a new uh, projectile that we're going to create it's called Tutorial Projectile. Okay. OBJ, underline to store projectile. Apart from that, it's a completely normal rocket launcher. Okay. So this is our first gun. Uh, the gun is done, sorry. So we're going to create the projectile. So what I want to understand here is this concept of inheritance, right? So we have here class, and classes in Relic Hunter Zeros are usually the parents, parent objects that define things that many, many other objects will use. So all the bullets have things in common, right? So that's what the class is about. The class defines the very basics, the very principles of what something does. So when you're going to do a new stuff, instead of copying the code or writing it all over again, you're going to say, hey, this is a child of the class projectile, but it does this and does that. So you, you just tell the game what it does differently. You don't have to tell it all over again what a projectile should be, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're actually going to take the rocket, you see here, OBJ rocket, and we are going to duplicate this and call it OBJ tutorial projectile. 
So now we have a tutorial projectile. Actually, let's not do this. Let's delete. Let's create a completely blank object. Object. You can do this by right clicking, create object. This is a completely blank object. We're going to call it OBJ tutorial projectile. We're going to give it the Kami sprites. This is where it starts to get to get interesting. Where is it? Enemy Kamikaze Red. Kami Red Idol. So I'm going to give it the Kami sprites. And I'm going to tell that tell the game that the parent of this object is the rocket. So we're going to come here to projectiles and find the OBJ rocket. So now what this, if I don't do anything, this is going to be just like I have duplicated the rocket. If I don't mess with this, we're going to have a regular rocket. So let's just leave it, leave this here. Okay. So now we have a gun that shoots a tutorial projectile. We're going to create a pickup for this, just like we did on the other tutorial. We're going to call this the OBJ pickup tutorial launcher. We're going to give it the Kami launcher sprites. We're going to say that it's the tutorial launcher. And we're going to say that it's the OBJ tutorial launcher. Just like we did. If I'm going too fast, just remember this was covered in a previous tutorial. Just go and watch it if you don't know how to do these steps that I'm doing right now. So I'm going to put the pickup. So the very last one, OBJ tutorial launcher right here so we can test it out. So uh, unless I made a silly mistake, what should happen right now is that we're going to have uh, a gun that behaves pretty much like the rocket launcher. And the difference is that it's going to release these different rockets that we have created. We call them the tutorial rockets or tutorial projectiles, right? And they're going to behave because we told we we haven't wrote a single line of code. We just told, hey, this rocket is a child object of the rocket object. So what should happen is that it should behave exactly like a rocket. But it's going to be a Kami because we told it that the sprite is the sprite of the Kami. So let's see. Pick up the rocket. Tutorial launcher. See here. Tutorial launcher. There goes the explosive. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I might just leave it like this. There, yeah, look at it go. Boom. <laughs> okay, just one more. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we did all this just by uh, telling that this tutorial projectile is the child object of the parent OBJ underline rocket. You can find it here, just click to open the parent. So what we're going to do now is, okay, we want this to be a little bit different. So it's going to behave pretty much like the rocket, but we don't want an explosion, we don't want a camera shake, and uh, we don't want damage. All we want to do is to spawn a Kami. So we're going to read how the rocket works, and we're going to modify that, I'm going to teach you how. So you have to understand that when an, when uh, an object is a child of another object, it basically copies everything in it. So it's empty, but you have to imagine that all of these things are here, uh, unless you override them. So if I just go here and add an end step event, right? And, uh, and I say, I don't know, just comment here. Hello, people. Okay. So what I have just done is that I have told GameMaker that this object here is exactly like OBJ underline rocket, but the end step should be replaced by this, which is nothing. So uh, whatever was in the end step here, which is the explosion, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to happen. So you completely override that. There's a way to do, to add stuff. So for instance, say that we want to 
just tell that the radius instead of 75 the radius is 90 okay so we are going to create events just like this one okay we're going to add a script here and uh I'm going to call this radius change and uh, if we just do radius equals 90 this is going to be a disaster because it's going to completely replace all of this code here so none of this is going to happen so what you want to do is to execute all of that and then change the radius to 90 and to execute all of that you do event underline inherited so when you do this you run all the code in the parent object okay so now we're effectively effectively changing the radius to 90 this was just an example we don't really need to do this so we're just going to delete what we want to do is to change this code here the explosion right so right now uh, if explode equals true this is uh, if explode is true it's going to do all of these things here uh, looks like my cat wants to join the video she hates being picked up she hates it uh, sorry about that so uh, the if explode is, is true it's going to do all of these things right it's going to uh, do a big bang it's going to do all of these things that we don't want it to uh, so what we're going to do is completely override the end step here and tell it commit explosion it's going to be the name of the script if you do like triple dash like this you're creating the name of the script which is pretty handy uh, so we're just going to copy this here so if explode don't do any of this just creates a commit instance create obj commit ally so what is going to happen is uh, instead of exploding it's going to create a commit ally which is a monster in the game uh, you could do anything you could spawn anything you want here you can do anything with this code so what we have effective, effectively created is an anything rocket. All you got to do is inherit from the rocket, override the end step, and if explode, you do whatever you want. Okay. So we're going to create a commie. We're going to destroy the audio emitter, which creates the sound, the smoke trail sound. And then we're going to destroy the rocket. So this should work I guess so let's see okay so let's see if our gun works we pick here the tutorial launcher and it should release a rocket and down now it's a coming and it's done it's that simple so uh, I'll see you in the next video when I am going to talk about uh, putting your weapons on the shops and chests and other thing in the world so I hope this was useful and see you next time